like changing my shirt. Am I filming two videos on the same day? Yup. Am I uploading them on two different days? Yup. Do you really care? I don't think so. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're talking brush favorites. I feel like not a lot of people do this anymore and I just want to share with you brushes that I've invested in that I think work amazing or that personally is my preference or what I like for my face shape. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Before I talk specific brushes, I just want to talk about like two tools that I really like. First of all, just a general spoolie. This MSQ set I got on Amazon. I really enjoy um, mine's bent because I like it that way when I'm brushing out my eyebrows. And the other thing is this lash separator. So mine's like gross. Definitely need to clean these. But I got this from Ulta Beauty. You can get these pretty much anywhere now. It just helps when you're applying your mascara to really separate your lashes out. And I just kind of feel like everybody needs one of these. Because sometimes you just have those days where your mascara doesn't want to cooperate. Your lashes don't want to cooperate with your mascara. And I just feel like this helps to at least comb them out without having to run a spoolie in and completely ruin everything. So yeah, I really like these two specific tools. These were sold in a set. I've talked about them before. I'll try to find the set. It looks like it's been discontinued, which really sucks because I like quite a few of the brushes in this set. And not just for makeup, also for painting. Super random, but you gotta repurpose. This is the BH Cosmetics, like, studded rose collection, rose studded collection. The first one is the number nine brush. I've definitely talked about this brush before. I really, really enjoy it for shimmers. I just feel like it's the perfect density, size, and shape for really getting shimmers on. It just really lays the shimmers out nice. Maybe you want to put a shimmer down before actually using your finger to build it up. Who knows? But I really just, I really enjoy this brush a lot. Also in that same brush set is the number three. This brush, you're probably looking at it and you're like, hmm, I don't know about that. But I really, really have been enjoying this for blush. It has been one of my most reached for blush brushes. Now the other one I've been testing out is the Sigma Contour Blush F53 Air. This one's a duo fiber. It's kind of got that chiseled shape while also being a duo fiber, so you can contour with it. I have been liking it, but I've been liking it more for the hourglass ambient lighting blushes. That's what I specifically have been liking this for. But for every other blush, I've really been enjoying this brush specifically. I just like the shape. I just feel like for my cheeks, it just... It just works perfectly and I've also been liking it because I've never thought I'd be this person. I barely liked blush to begin with, but I've really been enjoying glowy blushes. Who am I? And blush toppers and not just highlights all the time. So this is just like perfect for sweeping on your blush and then just lightly tapping into a blush topper and just tapping it on and then going in with highlight if you want to go in with highlight or not going in with highlight. I love this brush. Bronzer. So I have two different kinds that I like. So the first one is the Sephora Pro Diffuser 64. Also Sephora is not cruelty free. Like I'm not sure if this specific brush is around anymore. Jessica Braun raved about this all the time. I really like it for like cream bronzers and cream products because it is a duo fiber but it's also kind of a dense duo fiber, so you don't just get a sheer wash. You can use it to build it up, or pretty much however your preference is to use a brush like this. I really like this. Um, I know it's not cruelty-free. My all-time favorite bronzer brush, and this is like a recent find. You guys know it is the Complex Culture Prep Set bronzer brush. I didn't even have to look at it. I freaking love this brush. I can't, I can't, I don't, I'm getting hyped about it and the reason is because everyone for years has sold us on the idea of Morphe and the big, they're like this shape but they're a bit, they're like twice the size and they're floppy and the quality is not good and they're not soft and it's just, no, I just, 
I found the perfect bronzer brush K. I'm just gonna say it. I love it to pieces. I want more of this brand's brushes because I love this one so much. I am testing out a Sonia Kashuk brush, which you guys saw in my, like, try to get ready with me when I talked about my wedding. That one. I love this brush. Okay? I can't put it down. I got this in an Ipsy Glam Bag Plus box like six months ago i don't know months ago forever ago i freaking love this brush okay i got another one from them it's like their concealer i don't know it's really dense i'm not super into it but i am interested to try more from this brand okay this brush okay this is the shape nice and like kind of dense but also like not super dense you know works perfect like gets in gets in where you want where you should want your bronzer right right gets on your temples perfectly you can pinch it use it on your nose you can like use it under your chin you've been struggling and you've been lied to to buy morphe try this brush okay i know it's an investment it's like 32 dollars. not everyone can afford that i totally totally understood like i wouldn't have tried this if i wouldn't have gotten it in a box but i would without a doubt buy another one of these and i'm probably gonna do it because this brush changed my life it changed my makeup game i love it I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. I cannot rave about this enough. And I think if you're contemplating, like maybe you'd like the shape or whatever, I definitely think, try it, test it out, I love it. I think it's worth it, but that's my opinion. Okay, foundation brushes. Now, I'm really sorry about this, but they're like brushes you can really only get like at this time of the year and they sell out relatively quickly and sometimes they like to cheat you and change the brush style out of absolutely nowhere for absolutely no freaking reason like they did last year probably not what I'm talking about it's the it cosmetics love is the foundation brush that you can only get at Ulta so this is the 2018 version got all of the hearts in the handle like they don't move or anything Mine is crusty because I cannot be stopped. And this is this year's version. I don't love the water sounds while you're like applying your foundation, but that's just my personal preference. It's just like something stupid, but it's so fun. Anyways, I freaking love this brush. I mean, I'm not typically a foundation brush bitch, okay? Robbie e. Christie influenced this decision, okay? And it was a good idea. If you want a better foundation brush or you're on the fence about it or you've seen this in stores and you're like, hey, that's really cute and kitschy. Should I try it? Yeah, you should. Um, it's a $30 brush. Again, expensive, but again, worth it. That's your decision to make, but I definitely recommend checking out these brushes. And if you can't find the Love is the Foundation brush, probably any of the It brushes for Ulta, like the foundation style, I'm going to assume, I don't know for sure, because these are really the only It Cosmetics brushes I've tried, but I'm going to assume there's some one of the brushes that's similar to this particular brush. I'm just going to say, my face brushes are expensive, kind of. I mean, besides the BH Cosmetics one. Highlighting brush. Okay, here's the thing. I uh, didn't understand the trend of the Anastasia A23 brush, like, at all, ever. Especially when I first started makeup, I'm like, what's the hype of this? No, this is a good highlighter brush. Like, a good highlighter brush. I think this is, like, $18 to $25. Again, a pretty spendy brush. But personally, I just feel like I wish I had this type of brush recommendation. Like, not everybody's shelling Morphe brushes at you. Like, crappy brushes that are cheaper, that just aren't good, and then you end up spending more because then you buy a nicer brush. I wish I had this type of video when I first started. So, I am making a video for my past self. This is such a good highlighter brush. The hype is real. I love it. I love it. If this is a little too expensive for you, another brush from Real Techniques. This is their setting brush. This is a really good highlighter brush. I just recently got this. And it kind of has the same effect as the Anastasia one. But it's not, it's probably not like as diffused because it's got like tighter bristles. But honestly, like this is a really great highlighter brush too. And this one's like less than $10. This is the Sephora Pro Flawless Airbrush 56. Again, it's not a cruelty free option. I'm sorry. Um, Jessica Braun did recommend this. 
and she uses this to blend out her concealer while I don't think I've ever used it for that I have fallen in love like fallen head over heels in love using this to set my whole face with powder now I've been trying this like glowy trend so I've pretty much only been setting like under my eyes my entire nose and like just my t-zone and then maybe down the sides that's all I've been setting so I really like this because it's nice and small and compact and dense and just gets the powder where you want it doesn't overly powder you I just like this brush like I didn't think I was ever going to be a setting powder brush type of girl I thought I was just gonna always use a sponge and then maybe a big fluffy brush when necessary I like this I like this okay I only have two other more expensive brushes the rest are on the more affordable ish side when I say on the more affordable side I am talking about Sigma because I just feel like their brush quality is just amazing and if you find a really good coupon code their brushes are on par with Morphe and they're not crap okay <laughs> I like to blend out my eye primer with a brush I don't even like to have a sponge wet and ready for that just personally like a, bl a brush the last two like higher end brushes I'm gonna talk about is the Sephora Pro Airbrush 57 brush it is a really nice dome shape same with the Luxie 250 large eye blending I don't think they're necessary unless you like to blend out your concealer with a small brush underneath but even then I don't think they're necessary I think this elf flawless concealer brush does the exact same thing and does it potentially better I really like this it's more affordable it's only six bucks I have so many of these because I'm really lazy about washing the brushes so yeah but I really enjoy these for like blending out your eye primer if you want to use the same brush to set your eye primer works amazingly both those other higher end ones do too I just use them because I have them but personally I would have never purchased them I would have only stuck to elf I have one more high-end brush I'm going to talk about to kick off eyeshadow this is the Scott Barnes number 62 brush I'm still kind of in the process of testing this out I hate that I like this I hate that I like it because it's expensive it's like a $24 eye blender brush and I just feel like that's so outrageous and unnecessary but I like it I'm sorry I like it I I don't use it all the time it's got this like nice taper to it it's super soft but it comes to a pretty good point and I just feel like this brush works really well for hooded eyes in particular uh, it's expensive and outrageous and I don't know if I'd ever buy another one but if you're kind of like I want to splurge on an eye brush like look into it but I don't know I just I'm still so undecided about it I don't know why I put it in this video I just wanted to talk about it and see if maybe any of you have tried this brush I think it works really well for what it is and that the price I'm not gonna say is worth it but potentially could be worth it I think I definitely need to keep using it but I like it and I hate that I like it I don't know why I put it in this video other than the fact that I want to hear your guys's opinion on this brush is it worth it to you I don't know I think it's good but I, I definitely would recommend all of these other brushes like buying all of those before you buy one of these but this is just like a high-end option if you prefer to spend more on your brushes Let's talk e.l.f. and then Sigma and then the last brush set from Amazon. Okay, so my top three e.l.f. eye brushes are the blending brush, the detail crease brush, and the fluffy eye blender brush. These all are amazing. I feel like the fluffy eye brush is just like the Scott Barnes one, but just not as tightly bristled. They're more loose, you know, so you don't get like quite the precision the detailed crease brush reminds me of the m506 from morphe if you want a dupe for that and then the blending brush it's just perfectly tapered and it just works so well for hooded eyes for building out a crease i love these could not recommend them more look into elf brushes if you're trying to build your brush collection on a budget since we're on the topic of budget let's talk about this brush set from amazon it is the msq brush set these are just five of the brushes that come in it. It's like a 24-piece brush set, I believe, and 
there's like a spoolie an eyeliner brush like a bunch of other brushes but these are just kind of my favorites out of the whole thing they don't have individual numbers but these are the specific shapes if you need a screenshot um i really like this small one for my lower lash line i really like this kind of tapered excuse me please focus on the brushes kind of tapered but also loose brush for just more blown out diffused looks i like this brush for more transition shades setting my lid uh, this one works really really well for blending for building out a crease because it is so small and compact and then this one also works really well for blending out shadow i adore these i'm probably going to pick up another set of these because the quality is just there and the price point is there too and they're just so much better than morphe and i just no, I might use a Morphe brush on my channel because I have it, but I probably will never recommend another Morphe brush ever. I just think that Morphe is a shady company, and I don't think they deserve your guys' money. And their brushes aren't good, and neither are their palettes, but nobody wants to talk about that. Sigma. These are my last four brushes. So I have the E33, the E40, the E45, and the E27. These brushes are beautiful. Now, this big blending one is the E40. I like it okay. I think if you have bigger eye sockets than me, you'll really enjoy this. It diffuses everything and it's nice. It just part doesn't wow me for my eye shape. But if you have bigger eyes, I definitely suggest looking into this. It's one of Robbie D. Christie's favorites, which she does have a coupon code. Um, if you guys have Honey, Honey can find you coupon codes. If you sign up for Sigma's mailing list, sometimes they give out 35% off coupon codes. So, Coupon codes will save you so much more money than just what Sigma offers, which usually most of their stuff is at some point marked down for some reason. I don't know. My favorite Sigma eye brush is probably the E27. It's just small and compact, and it just gets in your crease, and it's just the perfect way to build your crease if you have hooded eyes. I also really like the E45 because it's nice and small and tapered and it just gets in your crease. And also the same with the E33. I just think these are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful eye brushes. And if you want to splurge, I think this is where you definitely should go. Definitely worth it. I think Sigma prices, I feel like they're really not that bad. And I feel like if you have a good enough coupon, they're pretty dang affordable. And they're, I think there's like a lifetime warranty on them. The way that the the ferrule is, like you're not supposed, they're not supposed to ever really come apart because of the way it is. They're cruelty free, their bristles are synthetic. I mean, I love Sigma as a company. I've started to try their eyeshadows and I think they're amazing. I just think they're worth it. I think they're a company that is just worth giving your money to and like, isn't that what this is all about this year is making smart purchases and giving these companies that are worth having our money, like giving them our money because they're worth it. I know that was like in a roundabout way and doesn't make any sense, but it makes sense in my head. Okay guys, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed today's brush favorites and me ranting and raving about all my favorite face, eye, and a little bit of makeup tools. I will leave all my social medias linked down below as well as the playlist of the week and I will link all the brushes that I mentioned in today's video. <laughs> Alright guys, I hope to see you in my next one. Oh, wait. I did want to mention that I am kind of setting up a <laughs> upload schedule for Tuesdays and Fridays. So, if you want to see my face more, definitely subscribe, ring the bell, Hit the like button for this video if you want to see more like this or leave a comment, whatever. And I'll see you soon. Bye!